Hello my buddies welcome to Capture Hood Recaps please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recaps let's dive into world of entertainment. At the beginning of the movie we see a boy named Akira who was running away from zombies. Akira did not know that the people behind him are all zombies. Hirakura requests everyone that I have to go to the office as soon as possible so stop chasing me. But where was those zombies going to understand anything? Well Akira even in such a bad time the hurry to go to the office was because Akira's boss keeps her under a lot of pressure. Well the scene shifts from here and we are shown the scene. Of one year ago where Akira goes to the office being happy, in fact, today in the office, her. The first day was in the office, Akira is introduced to all the employees. Here Akira meets a senior employee named Atari. When Akira talks to Atari, he likes Atri very much. Now after finishing the office work, when Akira was enjoying with his colleagues. His team leader Kosugi comes there, who tells Akira that today the office I have a lot of work so you have to stay in the office tonight and work after which all the seniors start giving work to Akira and Akira works all night sadly even the next day with Akira. It happens that Akira's team leader is a very selfish person, he can go to any extent to get his work done. Similarly, Akira daily does overtime job and starts getting frustrated with his work. One day Akira meets his childhood friend Kensho and tells him about his sad job, but Kensho ignores his words and dates the models. Akira gets angry seeing this and tells Kensho that if you did not make a mistake in the rugby game in childhood, we would have won that match and today we are international players. But Kensho gets angry and quarrels with Akira. He says, do you still blame me? Both of them have a lot of argument, after which Akira breaks his friendship with him and leaves from there. The next day, Akira meets Ohotari in the office. Here we find out that Akira wants to make Ohotari his girlfriend and wants to save her from the bad boss, but Akira has become frustrated by doing office work because she never gets a holiday so that she can focus on herself. Due to which Akira also felt like committing suicide when Akira is going home from office, then we. Seeing some zombies walking at the metro station, in fact, this city was a day before the zombie infection spread, well the next morning Akira leaves for office, he sees that his neighbor was eating a person, then suddenly that neighbor starts coming to attack Akira. To avoid which Akira starts running and seeing many more zombies fall behind him. This was the same scene that we saw at the beginning of the movie. Here Akira comes to the roof while avoiding the zombie and escapes from the zombie. By jumping on one side of the barrier, then his. The eye falls on a plane crashing, seeing that Akira understands that the whole city has been hit by the zombie virus, but Akira was not afraid, rather he was happy because he will not have to go to office today due to zombie attack, then Akira thinks of Otari. So he messages her and asks about her. Otari sends her location to him and Akira understands that Otari is in some trouble so he goes out to her location to save Otari when he comes down the pipe to find the couple in a flat. Those who were stranded and did not even have food items, Akira promises both of them that when I come back, I will bring some things for you. After which Akira reaches the location of Otari on a bicycle where Otari tells him that his boss has been affected by the zombie virus. And his boss was having an affair, Akira feels very bad about it, but then the boss attacks them, due to which Akira somehow knocks the boss down and then Atri kills the boss by hitting him on the headbutt. Atri was also infected with the zombie virus, so she also turns into a zombie. Akira saves his life from her and proposes to her, after which he goes from there without killing her. When Akira was climbing on his roof, he sees that the couple he saw in the morning was not in the flat and the condition of their house was also bad. He feels that he has become a victim of zombies which makes him very sad and he comes to his room where sadly he thinks that one day he too will become a zombie then he thinks that he has all his dreams before becoming a zombie. One must complete and enjoy that's why Akira prepares a bucket list in which he writes his 100 specials which he had to do before becoming a zombie. The next morning Akira first cleans his room then goes shopping and runs away from there, avoiding the zombie after he goes to color his hair but he does not like any color there so he gets black hair again then he makes his painting with spray on a building. 
after which he crackers. Goes to buy but when he comes back, a zombie follows him, then Akira sees a bike and then leaves the bicycle and starts running away from the bike. Then in the night he goes to a tower and enjoys running the cracker but there was no one to join his happiness. So he feels very lonely the next morning Akra camping on the terrace but when he eats food, he lacks some spices in the food so he goes to the store to get spices where a girl starts killing Akira as a zombie. Shizuka refuses saying that I don't have to do anything extravagant except to save my life and she tells Akira that you are risking your life just for your fun and I don't want to come with such a person. Where he misses Kensho after seeing the photo of Kensho and thinks that maybe Kensho will be safe, when Akira calls Kensho he comes to know that Kensho is in a hotel and surrounded by many zombies goes out to save the friend and to avoid the zombie he wears the rugby player's dress here Kensho remembers his childhood before becoming a zombie that when he had a rugby match he did not pass the ball to Akra due to panic due to which he also regrets a lot after which Akira comes to the hotel pushing the zombies like a rugby player and apologizes for fighting with the earthworm to which Kensho says that I forgave you and you are my true friends who have come to save me by risking their lives. Meanwhile, there are zombies who escape from the back door of the hotel. From here, both of them go to a restaurant where Kensho cooks, then both of them talk after dinner. During which the Kensho Akira sees his wish list in the diary, on which Akira says, Will you help me in completing my wish list? Kensho happily says yes to this, then Akira tells that my wish is that I am Superman. Like I want to save people's lives, well the next morning Kensho tells Akira that we should leave the city because most people here have become zombies. Then Akira says that we will go to an aquarium called Marine Paradise where we will get a special suit which is made to avoid shark fish. Kensho is happy to know that he will not be able to spoil and agrees to walk him to the aquarium after which he leaves on his journey where first of all they both go to a store for food items. During which a bus passes through in which many people were sitting but every person sitting in the bus was affected due to which he turns into a zombie and starts attacking all the people. All the people come out of the bus while avoiding and seeing a lot of zombies start coming. Seeing this, Akira asks some people to come to the store, but here only two girls and the bus driver were the only ones left and the three survivors somehow come to the store. During which Akira's eyes go to Shirju, who was fighting the zombie finally asks him to come to the store too so that Shizuka also comes to the store and he locks himself in all the stores. Here we see the bite of the zombie on the hand of the bus driver, that is, he will also become a zombie soon, that is why he starts crying and apologizes to everyone, but he does not tell anyone about the zombie bite. Everyone feels that perhaps the driver is sad that because of him his passengers have become zombies. Well, Akira and Kensho starts enjoying drinking with those two girls, while the driver faints due to infection, here Akira floods those two girls but she does not give him emotion, after which both those girls from Kensho. Impressed? and escape from him, then the zombie hears the voice of the cat Cho and those two girls, so he goes inside where he catches the two girls and starts eating them. Seeing this, Ken Cho gets scared and comes out asking for help. Hearing the sound of which the zombie also follows him, after which Akira to save his friend Ken Cho just as he starts leaving, Shizuka starts leaving the store because she did not want to get into trouble by staying with Akira. On the other side, the zombie comes to the earthworm so that the earthworm stands with his breath held. 
Then a music plays and the zombie gets attracted to the music and goes from there. Here we come to know that the music was played by Shizuka because she wanted to save the Earth's life after saving the Earthworm. Shizuka starts leaving the store but does not open the gate. During this time the two girls come there as zombies and start attacking Shizuka then she runs inside to avoid them and confronts them. Here Kensho and Akira come near the gate but instead of running away, Kensho comes to save Shizuka. Kensho with the help of some firecrackers to kill the zombies. After which the three of them come out and they see the RV van, Akira and Kensho reach that van, but Shizuka gets terrified to see the zombies coming towards her and stands in the same place. Due to which Akira senses her by calling and asks her to come towards the van, somehow Shizuka comes to her senses and the van in the van, Shizuka says why did you save me, I am upset by running away, it would have been better if I also become a zombie. Akira tells her that we both want to save people like superheroes, but Shurju says that she will survive alone. Hearing this, Akira says that first of all you have to learn driving or else you will not be able to escape from the zombie for long. Later, Shizuka and Kensho help Akira fulfill her wish and similarly the three of them enjoy a lot and together run camping and crackers. She had stopped being happy after the zombie virus, so she thanks Akira and Kaicho that because of them she has understood that she should be happy in difficult situations. After which the three of them reach the aquarium where their van gets punctured and Akira faints due to the accident. And in front of him, the team leader of his company comes to Sogi. In fact, many people were already hidden in this aquarium because there was no shortage of food here due to fish, first of all Kosugi. Akira takes Akira to the aquarium and tells him that he was in this aquarium with his team at the time of the virus outbreak, so he decided to stay here. Here we come to know that all the people present in the aquarium are engaged in work like laborers and their team leader is Kosugi. Akira feels very bad that now he will have to work under Kosugi again. There was also the couple who saw Akira in the flat in his building. Kosugi had distributed tasks to all the people such as catching fish, cleaning, cooking, and bringing goods from outside. After which Kosugi takes him out and shows his zombie security. In fact, if anyone tried to steal their belongings, Kosho G.I. used to leave a zombie on them. Here Kaso G.I. offers Akira to become his right hand, on which Akira tells him to fulfill his wish list. But Kosugi convinces him to work with him by convincing his friends to save the evening. At the time when everyone has dinner, we come to know that Kaso used to give very little food to all the people and himself used to feed his colleagues very well, here Akira again by doing overtime like his office. When Kosugi and Shizuka catch him and bring him out, he tells them to run away, but Akira refuses them, saying that I have to stay here and work to keep you safe. On the other hand, we see that a zombie comes in the van of a man who has come to buy goods for the aquarium and then the man takes the van to the aquarium. The zombie entering the van reaches the aquarium and first kills the man with that van. Then suddenly the zombies break the gate of the aquarium and start coming inside and on seeing this, they attack all the people. Some people fall inside the aquarium and the shark gets affected by eating their body, while Suzuka explains to Akira that you have to be the same and think about fulfilling your wish list because this life you are living is like a zombie. In fact, Shizuka and Kensho are persuading him to leave then Kosugi comes there and throws Akira's daddy, which makes Akira angry and he pushes Kosugi to go from there. During this time, the zombies come there and attack everyone. Kosugi escapes from there, but Akira and his friends start saving everyone, after which they all come to a safe place where Kensho catches Kosugi and shouts at him that he should not run away as a team leader but save people. Meanwhile the affected shark comes there and eats a man, all that shark seeing them get scared and come out of the hall but the shark does not leave them, then Akira brings all the people to a safe room, well Akira remembers that Kosugi is left out so he tells Kensho that he will Kosugi. He is going to save everyone because he wants to become a superhero by saving every human being, after which he sees the same suit that Akra told Kensho about. Akra quickly puts on that suit and comes straight in front of the shark to save Kosugi. Here he was fighting the shark when Kaso opens a gate to escape due to which many zombies come inside, then Kensho comes there with a car and hits the shark which helps Akra to escape from there and he goes to save Kosugi, he kills all the zombies and saves Kaso K but now. Zombies catch him, but due to the suit, no zombie can bite him. Here Kensho escapes from one hole to another while avoiding the shark and the shark chases him and gets stuck in that hole. 
Well, Shizuka comes here to save Akira and attracts the zombies by running the speaker, then she puts the speaker in the water so that all the zombies water after this. The three friends get together again and are very happy to get rid of the zombies, Kaso G. Also comes to them, but then the shark comes. There and kills Kaso, now the shark is towards Akira. Akira runs away with a pipe in his mouth, here Shizuka takes out the battery from the torch to kill that essence and asks Akira to give an electric shock to the nose of the shark because the shark's nose is his weak point. Well, when Kancho throws the battery towards Akira, he falls and falls unconscious, which makes Akira think that the shark is the cause Kancho is dead, so he gets angry and attacks the shark's nose with a battery due to which the shark gets an electric shock and he becomes unconscious, after which Akira and Shizuka come to the earthworm and start crying, then the earthworm. The next morning all the survivors are left from this place, during which time Soggy comes to the place, who is still alive, he tries to stop everyone, to which everyone says that we do not want a team leader like you, but we need a leader like Akira. Everyone calls Kosugi and goes their own way, here Akira and his friends leave with RV1 and Kasoki remains their Akira in the end, we are told that Akira decided that he was a superhero. Apart from this, his friends tell their wish list with him in which Shizuka wants to become a doctor and Kensho asks to become a comedian with this movie ends here, if you like it, then you will subscribe to our channel, like the video. Thank you very much for watching, thank you so much. Thanks for watching please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recaps.